Hello and welcome. Today we're going to review the Bayang Toys X16 brushless motor GPS upgraded quadcopter drone. Now the drone comes in this simple square box. Now be aware because uh, you may receive it in a box that doesn't list uh, the GPS feature and it shows a camera other than the mount or the cameraless version that you bought and you may get a little confused but uh, you may have this you still may have the correct version so as you can see here it lists all the features that it has such as um, return to home uh, headless mode 3d flips six axis gyro led lights so on and so forth so Let's open this up here. Let's check out what's inside. Let's open this up. So now you will essentially find it uh, like this. Uh, we did do some assembly, uh, but uh, you will find the quadcopter with the legs uh, stored in a different part of the styrofoam but we use the included screws and already screwed them in. So, yep, you will find the uh, good looking quadcopter here with its brushless motors and uh, GPS dish here on the top. And that's that. Right here on the top, you will find the charge plug or the half of the charger where you just uh, plug it into the wall. And then at the bottom, you'll find a majority of the stuff right here. So let's take a look here. At the bottom here, well, you of course have the instruction manual with uh, all the diagrams and all the information. You will find uh, essentially both sides here with the uh, prop baggies. It comes with two sets of props. You will find the transmitter here. And this transmitter takes uh, six AA batteries. We had already put those in there. So, yep, six AA batteries. And then you will find the uh, little camera mount here for your GoPro or um, GoPro alternative. And uh, very easy to connect there. Here's the second half of the charger. It's uh, basically a generic balance charger, uh, so you just charge your battery. You have the battery here, and this is a 11.1 a, uh, volt, 2200 milliamp uh, LiPo battery that has this um, connector here at the top here, this uh, red connector here, so you should be able to... Uh, find additional batteries online perhaps in banggood.com you could find additional batteries and uh, that's basically it then you will find uh, you know some screwdrivers and uh, an allen wrench uh, in case you needed it some tools and um, some uh, sticky pads here perhaps if for camera related purposes and here are the um, spinner caps for the propellers. So that's essentially what's inside the packaging. Now let's first look at the transmitter itself. This transmitter is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, here you have your throttle and rudder. You have your trims, your on-off switch. Um, this up here are the rates and um, from what we could tell are there two rates, high and low. Um, and you can use them in GPS mode. This is the auto takeoff, auto land, and you have to keep that pressed either for auto takeoff or auto land once the um, rotors are active. So this will be, this won't work unless the um, propellers are already spinning and then you can auto takeoff, auto land. Um, here, you have a circular pattern of buttons and basically the way it works is um, 
this is your GPS button right here and you turn on and off GPS here just once to turn it on other time to turn it off If you turn it off obviously it should start drifting right away and uh, you're basically in manual mode or altitude hold mode and if you push it again you're in GPS lock and it will lock in although I don't believe the quadcopter will allow you to take off unless you have a GPS lock so uh, it's important to be aware of that uh, now uh, this is the return to home button the center button this one right here I believe is headless mode this is this top one is photo this bottom one is video uh, assuming you have a certain camera wired into that but if you just have a GoPro mounted uh, obviously these buttons will not be active the top and bottom and now these four buttons uh, these two bottom ones don't seem to do anything uh, these two top ones I think were um, designed uh, for what was used later in the X21 the Bayang Toys X21 uh, which is the circular or surround flight and this one was the follow me mode which the uh, Bayang Toys X21 I believe has a version with uh, GPS on the transmitter and then the display it really doesn't have too much on display it will show you the battery life on the transmitter it will show you the signal uh, strength it will show you uh, how much throttle and rudder you're applying to each area and that's about it uh, it has a good range this quadcopter with this uh, I would say maybe uh, 500 to 800 meters uh, so very very good range and now let's look at the quadcopter itself. Now taking a quick look at the uh, Bayang X16 quadcopter. Uh, has a solid build to it. Good build quality. It uh, has a good weight ratio. It's not light, but it's not too heavy. So it has a good weight ratio here. You have the option to use either the uh, propellers that it comes with. Uh, it's a two-part solution where you have the propeller and then you have the spinner cap that goes like that. And so you have to put the propeller and then the spinner cap and these little spinner caps are, are easy to lose. But you could either get uh, Phantom propellers or this Autel propellers, which I like, this cool black one. And it's all integrated into one piece, so it's a lot easier. And you just, you know, you just spin them into place and they're real solid. And in fact, I think they're a little longer. As you can see, these are not as long as these. And these gives it these give it a little more lift power and um, more stability. Now, once you have the propellers all on and you have the battery in place, you simply just uh, turn on the transmitter and then connect the battery plug like so. And then you'll notice some blinking there. You push down on the transmitter to bind. You'll hear a beep. And then to put it in compass calibration mode, you put the throttle to the lower uh, left and the rudder to the upper right, like so. Like this. And once you do that, you'll notice a quick blinking. And at that point, you have to spin three times clockwise to the right three and then uh, three flips forward so you do one and then two three, and then uh, three side rolls as so you go like this one two and three and then at that point uh, the lights will go to a steadier blink and that blink will continue until satellites are received. And once uh, there are a sufficient number of satellites, it will turn a solid color like so. So now we have a uh, full GPS lock. Now, uh, the only other things to keep in mind is, uh, first off, you obviously wanna make sure that the battery's all tucked away in there. So you tuck it away and close the door. Since a lot of this procedure has to be done promptly after 
turning on the transmitter, you may not have the time to properly store the battery. So you can do that afterwards. And then last but not least, sure you uh, connect your GoPro camera to the bottom of the quadcopter. And it's pretty straightforward. You just slide it in and connect it like so. And that should do it. So now, should be ready. In the end, this is an amazing budget-friendly aerial setup that uh, is very inexpensive. I believe you can get this quadcopter on GearBest on sale right now for about $120. And then uh, you could get, they have GoPro clones that have gyro stabilization for as little as uh, $25, 1080p gyro stabilization. For $25, so you know that puts you at under $150 to have a stabilized HD aerial platform. And I believe they have uh, the Ekin camera, the latest Ekin uh, GoPro clone that has 4K uh, gyro stabilized footage, and that's about another $120, $125. So we're looking at a 4K. Uh, stabilized solution uh, aerial solution that is about that's under $250 and that's an amazing uh, budget-friendly uh, aerial photography solution so let's check this out 